this year's Summer Games Fest and Xbox Games Showcase, along with Ubisoft's announcement, have been fantastic. We got Playground's new Fable trailer, Ubisoft Star Wars Outlaws title trailer and the gameplay reveal, we got more Starfield gameplay, we got an Alan Wake 2 gameplay trailer showing the new character Saga who looked fantastic, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth got a trailer and a release window, there was an Avowed trailer and release date, we saw the unveiling of South of Midnight and finally the amazing Clockwork Revolution announcement. Now we're going to go through each one of these and break down everything you need to know, but if there's one in particular that you want to jump to, just check the timings and the chapters below. So when Xbox teased something suspiciously Fable 4 like on Twitter just days before its showcase, we actually prepared for disappointment. I mean, it has been three years since Playground Games' reboot of Fable was announced, and up until a few days ago, we'd heard nothing since. The in-engine trailer that opened the Xbox Game Showcase was well worth the wait, however, revealing Richard Ayoade as Dave the Giant, over-the-shoulder combat, and all the hilariously brusque and British banter of the original. Pair this with the stunning graphics, thanks to a far more modern engine than Lionhead's trilogy, and Fable looks set to stun. It certainly set a jubilant tone for the rest of the evening, proof that showing your hand early can be a very good thing when it comes to a beloved series like Fable. Personally, I can't wait to get chicken kicking. We've known for a while that Ubisoft is publishing an upcoming Star Wars game developed by Massive Entertainment, but Monday's Ubisoft Forward finally put a name and a face to it, Star Wars Outlaws. The trailer was accompanied by an official gameplay walkthrough, introducing us to Kay Vess, the infamous scoundrel of the Outer Rim, as she leaps into action, gunning down enemies, performing stealth takedowns, and making a nimble escape to meet with a shady fish-headed criminal. The dusty plains of this remote planet and all they have to offer are looking impressive already. What's more, she's accompanied by a cute little companion resembling a cross between an axolotl and a dog. What's not to love? Starfield Direct gave us a proper breakdown of the truly mind-boggling size and scope of the upcoming space RPG, but seeing Starfield up to an hour beforehand had us completely sold on Bethesda's new adventure. The beautifully cinematic gameplay trailer dazzled with its awesome intergalactic vistas, showing us not only gun combat in full space suit getup, but strange alien enemies, flying ships that look and feel like a home away from home, and plotting our escapades with fellow crew members. Underscored by a similarly magical orchestral track, Xbox really showed off its latest first-party headliner with style, grace, and a whole lot of wonder. One of our most anticipated new games for 2023, it was a delight to see Alan Wake 2 show up at Summer Games Fest. We've had the release date penciled in for almost a month now, but the latest trailer offered a new revelation in the form of Saga, the second playable character alongside good old Alan. The latest trailer shows the FBI jacket-clad Saga wandering through a forest in the dead of night, thick mist creeping through the trees as she comes to a remote cottage and opens fire on an enemy. It's the first look we've had at the game's combat so far, let alone the new character. We've been waiting for the news since its initial announcement last year, but our first look at Final Fantasy VII Rebirth gives us a taste of developer Square Enix's upcoming remake in action. The announcement trailer was unveiled at Summer Games Fest, showing Cloud and his cohort riding chocobos, fighting monsters, and many other elements we remember from the original classic game. With a vast open world at our fingertips this time around, however, we're excited to see Final Fantasy VII widen its playground and open up to new and familiar experiences in this lush reimagining. The trailer also firmed up a release window so we know it's going to be expected in early 2024. It's still vague, but from what we've seen, it's already looking fantastic. One of the upcoming Obsidian games to watch out for, we finally got a proper look at Avowed during the Xbox Game Showcase. The fantasy FPS is set in Eora, the same universe and world as Pillars of Eternity. But this time, we're exploring the Living Lands. The new trailer for Avowed showed us its dynamic magic-tempered combat in full throttle, using spells to vanquish enemies as well as guns and melee weapons. It also depicts Kai, the first of what seems to be a few companion NPCs who guide us on our journey to help rescue the people of the Living Lands from a plague that seems to corrupt their very souls. We also have a ballpark release window of sometime in 2024, and with such a brilliant trailer behind it, of course Avowed stood out to us as one of the day's heavy hitters. A standout moment of the Xbox Games Showcase was the unveiling of South of Midnight, the latest project from We Happy Few developer Compulsion Games. South of Midnight is an action adventure exploring the mythologies, folklore, and both the real and fantastical monsters of America's Deep South. The announcement trailer instantly captured us with its atmospheric storytelling. A gnarled, fingered man, who turns out to be half skeleton, strums his guitar in the middle of a moonlit bayou, gruff voice reverberating as he sings along to the melody. A young woman walks up to him and pre offers a flyer, asking him 
if he's seen the crudely drawn monster depicted, before it slowly emerges from the swamp behind her. The moody setting and art style alone were the reason enough to put this game on our watch list, and we can't wait to step into Hazel's shoes and explore her world. Calling all fans of Victorian steampunk, Clockwork Revolution was one newly announced game from Xbox Game Showcase that you need to check out. In this futuristic reimagining of the Industrial Revolution, the reveal trailer suggests that all in the city of Avalon isn't going quite to Lady Ironwood's nefarious plan. We'll be playing as one such rebellious cog, throwing the whole machine off balance, fighting to bring down Lady Ironwood and right the wrong she has committed against the citizens of Avalon in an effort to maintain a strict social hierarchy, featuring time travel, floating steam trains and fast paced FPS combat. What little we've seen of In Exile's upcoming adventure already has us intrigued for more. So what was your favourite game announcement? Let us know in the comments below.